joining us right now. Republican, Republican, uh, Republican from New York, Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. She's a member of the leadership team as assistant whip. Congresswoman, thank you so much for coming on. Can you give us a sense of what happened inside that conference room just now, that conference meeting? There was a lot of uh, rallying behind Kevin McCarthy. He gave a really a great speech, um, and he always does. He always looks to bring everyone together and realize that it's not about us. It's actually about governing for the American people, uh, making sure that we're delivering on our promises. Look, we've, we've said we want to secure the border. We said we want to bring fiscal responsibility. We said we wanted to bring good government reforms to the way this body um, runs. And he's doing those things. And the fact that uh, one individual wants to do this motion to vacate. Why? Because we actually prevented a shutdown the other day because we averted uh, a debt default a few months ago. I mean, he's fulfilling his promises to make sure we do this appropriations process the right way with 12 individual subject bills. We've done four out of the 12. The Senate have done none of those, but we need to move forward with this process, do the remaining eight. And this motion is certainly just a distraction. And I think it's going to differentiate between those who are here to govern and those who are here just to play charades. Part of your job as assistant whip, a big part, well, the job of whip is to count votes. Kevin McCarthy, when he left your conference gathering just now, he acknowledged that there are, there could be five votes, there are five votes that could join Democrats and oust him as speaker. Right now, do you see the votes are there, those five Republicans, to oust him as speaker? I don't know that they are there, and I think that's what today's conference was all about. When you saw the room all standing up uh, and cheering for him, you think that he has the votes, and I think that he has the overwhelming majority of support from our conference. I mean, but this is what happens when you have such Absolutely. a slim majority. Absolutely. I am majority. not questioning the overwhelming majority. Absolutely. But the sure. point is, is you have, with such a slim majority, five votes can be the end of his speakership. And right now, he said probably so when asked if those five votes could are there to join Democrats. Do you think today could be the last day that Kevin McCarthy is speaker? I think Kevin's going to prevail. I think he's going to move forward. Um, but again, think about the people have to think about what's going on here. We had a conservative package that was put on the floor, and Matt Gates and his uh, small group derailed it. Okay, that would have worked towards securing our border, to bringing fiscal responsibility, and now Matt wants to blame. Uh, the speaker for working across party lines to get something done to avert a shutdown. That doesn't warrant punishment. That doesn't warrant to be removed. It should be actually applauded that our speaker was brave and courageous enough to do the right thing for the American people, for our military men and women that needed to be paid to keep our government open in a responsible way so the programs continue to work for the American uh, people. That's so what we this were doing. Is where, and, and, absolutely, but this is where you are now. And uh, can you can Kevin McCarthy stay in, c continue to hold the gavel without the help yes. of Democrats, be that them voting for him to remain as speaker, voting with him to, in this motion to table, or not showing up so the threshold is lower? Can he do this without Democrats' assistance? You know, honestly, we have to see what happens today. I think he can do it. Will he do it? I mean, it really depends on who shows up, who's in the chamber, and what time the, this vote is cast. I mean, that's at the end of the day what happens. But I would think that some of the moderate Democrats would certainly join with Republicans instead of joining with an extremist who is trying to derail the whole place. We have 43 days to go until uh, the funding runs out. We need to do the work of the people. We can't do it if we don't have a Speaker of the House. So I think anyone who's serious about governing and not here to just play games uh, should be voting to just table this motion and let's move forward and do the work that we need to do over the next few weeks. Congresswoman, what's worse, Kevin McCarthy losing the speaker's gavel right now or, Demo or Kevin McCarthy and you all needing Democrats in order to keep it? Look, I, I, don't, I think uh, it would be worse if we do not have a speaker. I think that's the reality because we won't be able to do our jobs. We can't do our work if we don't have a speaker of the House. And with, and with that, do you acknowledge go, that Democrats have mm -hmm. leverage today? We've heard some from some Democrats that they say the word of the week is leverage. Do you acknowledge the mm -hmm. reality that that is the case right now? Yeah, they have leverage thanks to Matt Gates. I mean, Matt Gates is constantly working 
with the Socialist Squad, with the Democrats, to undermine our conference and our speaker. And that's the reality. We wouldn't be in this situation if Republicans stood together as a team and moved the ball forward. Um, again, we have a lot of work to do, and I just feel that this is an opportunity for the center left, the center right to come together table this motion uh, if necessary, if it comes to that, but I still think we have possibly the Republic to do it, the votes to do it just within the Republican conference. I know the people that I've spoken with, that you know, we have assistant whips, as you've mentioned, all of my people are, st are sticking with Kevin McCarthy, uh, and we'll have to tally the rest of that up today. The at 1.30, when first votes are expected, is is he going? Is is Speaker McCarthy going to be bringing forward this motion to table, also known as a mo uh, an effort to kill this uh, to kill this effort to push him out in the first place? Is that going to happen at 1.30? Um, I don't know if he'll be bringing it. I imagine that there will be a motion to table from the floor. Congresswoman, thank you very much. You guys have a lot to work out amongst Republicans right now. Appreciate your time.